Yo, what's up, guys? It's Ratty Boy back in the building again, baby. Guess what? I ain't going nowhere, boy. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, check it out. Today, we're going to be talking about five things to not do in Pattaya, Thailand. Now, I know we already went through some stuff in Angela City as far as the top five things to not do over there. And to recap, those things are five, don't be stupid with your money. Number four, don't fight the locals. Number three, don't catch feelings. Number two, stay your ass away from drugs. And number one, don't smash raw. Now, those things pertain to anywhere in the world. Anywhere you go in the world, that's a generic top five list that I made for Angeles City, Philippines at the time, right? But for Pattaya, Thailand, more specifically, I'm gonna give you the top five things to not do in that place. And these are my damn opinions. My top five. My top list. Make yours. If you don't like it, kiss my ass. Quick. Ah. Uh. Shit, my back. Uh, Jesus Christ, my back. <laughs> but before we get into that, let's recap very briefly about the top five things that's generic that I mentioned in my Angeles City, Philippines video. Now, we all know not to be stupid with your money and that goes back to everywhere in the world, right? But same thing, don't walk around in Thailand with your wallet in your back pocket and all this stuff. Watch what you spend your money on. You know what I mean? That's for that. But don't fight the locals. Yet again, you're in another developing country, you know what I'm saying? And the rules and your privilege don't apply that it applies back home. And Muay Thai is one of the most deadliest freaking martial arts in the world. So just keep that in mind, you know what I'm saying? These people are very nice, but do not, do not mess with them. And as far as not catching feelings, I got a link right here describing and showing the time. I'll leave it in the description below as well of when I got caught up and I caught feelings. Don't get caught up, buddy. I'm telling you. This was the first and only mistake I made. Before and after that, never went back to doing that shit. This place is a place for partying. Keep that in mind because out of sight, out of, I'm trying to, hey, I'm trying to tell you, man. Listen to me. Listen. It's out of sight, out of mind. If you go there and you try to wife up a bar girl or a girl that's always in the club, partying every night, every weekend, every day. The same way she met you is the same way she gonna meet the next dude when you leave. Keep in like, especially in a damn bar, a go-go bar especially. If you go over there thinking you the white knight in shining armor, it's not gonna happen, Captain. It's not gonna happen. You know what I mean? So don't be stupid. People fall for this all the damn time. I don't, un I don't get it, you know what I mean? And that's not the mistake I made. Check the link in the description to see how I got caught. The way I got caught, anybody could get caught how I got caught. And the women in Thailand are lovely, but this place in particular, you gotta be careful, I'm trying to tell you, man. If you find something here, it's a diamond in the rough. Not Thailand as a whole, we talking about the Sin City Pattaya. That's what we talking about. Staying away from drugs, Thailand has a law still in place for death penalty. Now, it doesn't usually happen like that, you know what I mean, but if you get caught up in anything drug related in Thailand, your ass is grass. You know what I'm saying? You're going to jail and you ain't going to see a judge for a long time, possibly a year or whatever the case is for some small little whatever. You know what I mean? So just stay away from drugs, right? And don't smash raw because you already know the kind of place these places are. You know what I'm saying? You got all these girls running around doing whatever they're doing and these men doing the same thing. So if you smash and raw, you playing Russian roulette with your dingaling, I don't know what you expect to happen. Every time Dick and Harry, I'm trying to tell you right now, is smashing girls raw in that place and bragging about it. And there's a link in the description right here to actually that video about the top five things to not do in Angela City, Philippines, which I said before is generic to everywhere in the world. But specifically, these places might get you a little more hemmed up than usual. Now let's get into the top five things to not do in Pattaya, Thailand. Number five. Don't fall for the common scams. Now, some common scams in, in Pattaya, Thailand, they got the tuk-tuk drivers, right? It's a bot bus, right? The bus goes around like this. You pay 10 baht, which is 33 cents, and you get to ride the whole bus all the way around. Takes you in that big box. You got second road and you got beach road, right? Now, one of the scams, you call it a scam or whatever. One of the scams that actually happens, it's not really a scam, but if you see a bot bus parked up on the side of the street and the driver's standing outside or whatever the case is, if you walk up to them and try to get the bus, they may try to charge you like a personal cab. You know what I mean? So the best thing to do that I do is just when I see a bus, a bot bus coming, I jump on it. You know what I mean? Because if you don't, they're going to try to charge you way more than 10 by 33 cents, right? American. So just hop on the bus with the rest of the people. Another scam is actually that bill padding shit. Now, when you go to these bars drinking, they give you a little cylindrical cup or whatever, right? And every time you got a drink, they fold a piece of paper, they fold it, and they put it in there, you know what I mean? So you gonna keep getting all night different pieces of paper, or they'll take the paper and they'll upgrade or up update the, the price. Keep track of your drinks because there's been times, that it hasn't happened to me, but there's been times where 
they will actually try to charge you for drinks you didn't actually have. You got to catch that stuff before you actually get to the end of the bill because they'll try to they'll try to say, yo, you, you bought that drink and you drank it and we took the cup away or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So you got to pay for it. Keep track of all your drinks at all times so you don't get caught with the bill padding thing. Another scam is the jet ski scam. Now, I never drove, I never rode on a jet ski, but you can YouTube this. It's all over the place. It's a well-known thing in Thailand. When you go rent a jet ski, there's damage to the jet ski already before you jump on it. It might be some small little white toothpaste or something they put on the damage, right? But you don't realize it. You, you think everything is fine. They'll show you the jet ski and be like, yo, everything is fine. Do, do, is everything cool? Okay, go take it out for a ride. You pay your 2,000 baht, whatever you pay, right? To drive it around the water. When you come back, you got all these damages on there and they're trying to say it's your fault. If you YouTube some, some, some encounters that people had with jet ski scams, it's all over the place. I wouldn't recommend renting a jet ski, but you could rent a jet ski, but just take a video all around the damn thing. You know what I mean? Even with a motorbike, even with a motorbike, if you rent one, take a video of, of, of the whole thing and then just have that to where you know damn sure you didn't make that damage before you went out there. You know what I'm saying? So there you go. Another scam is the taxi scam. You got freaking the taxi drivers not putting their meter on or trying to insist that it's broken. Don't get into a taxi if they can't put the meter on. You know what I mean? Because they're going to try to charge you way more. And if you're in Pattaya in that big ass area with the bot bus driving around, the best thing to do is just take a motorbike taxi. You know what I mean? Jump on the back of the motorbike with the dude or just take the bot bus. It's 33 cents, 10 bot. You know what I'm saying? Just do that. But if you want to take a cab, if you need to take a cab, make sure they put the meter on. Straight up. They're going to try to get you at there's other, there's way more other scams like the the, the the gem scam where they the tuk tuk driver will take you to go get some gems and they fake and then they they drug they, they they've known the drug it's it's sounding bad but it's not that that happens in Bangkok not specifically Pattaya like that but just watch out for that shit. the main thing is just do your research before you go the country is very nice I freaking love the country but just do some research now we're gonna get into number four. And this is very dear to my heart. People could say whatever they want about whatever, but do not support those tiger zoos and elephant zoos claiming that they're sanctuaries. Now looking back, I did research and I realized just how bad they treat these animals. You know? It's some crazy shit if you read about it. You think you're going to really get into a cage with a tiger and the tiger's not going to try to kill you? He was petting the tiger and taking, taking selfies with the tiger. They drug these damn tigers. They don't feed the baby cubs. And they, when you come in there and you feeding them, they're fucking excited to get some food so you can go take your little selfie. That's some cruel ass shit, you know what I mean? Now, as far as the elephants are concerned, you think just because they're big, it's cool. But their backs are not built for carrying excessive loads of weight. And then these elephant sanctuaries, they're working these elephants for freaking 15 hours a day multiple customers and that shit eventually causes problems for these elephants backs especially that big ass saddle which causes infections an elephant could probably take a human on his back bare back with no saddle like one or two humans you know what i'm saying no problem like for the day or whatever the case is but even that's controversial but at the same time it's like 10 to 12 hours working straight with freaking a big ass wooden saddle on the back another messed up thing about the situation baby elephants that get taken from their mothers for this situation to happen. They're confined to a small space, legs tied up, they're beaten with hooks and metal, like it's crazy. If you research what happens to them, to make them accustomed to being around human beings and being submissive to human beings, what they do is actually called the crush or the fajan. I don't know how you pronounce it, but that's what they ask. That's the process of breaking down the mental spirit of the animal just to make them submissive to human beings. They deprive them of sleep. They freaking deprive them of food. They do a lot of stuff to mentally break them down for them to be able to be accustomed to human beings and handle the whole situation. And it's crazy, man. It's sad. I understand the wild babies are the first to go. The main thing I ask you to do is just do your research or whatever the case is before you actually go to these spots. Because a lot of these spots are not legit. Now, I'll put a link in the description below to some places that's actually legit. They rescue, rehabilitate these animals. And you can actually go to them. Because if you think a selfie is more important to you than the well-being of animals and animal like and that type, that level of animal cruelty, there's levels. You know what I mean? People eat, I eat food, I eat meat, right? But there's levels to that type of stuff. You know what I mean? And it's just like, you know what I mean? I'm even thinking about not eating meat eventually. Anyway, moving on. Number three. Don't give begging foreigners money. Now you may run into foreigners that's over there with signs talking about, oh, I can't get back to my country. You know what I mean? I'm stuck in Thailand. Please help me. Oh, come on, man. Come on, baby. Please, man. I got kids to feed. You know, all this straight up, they full of shit. Overstaying your visa in Thailand already 
is crazy. The country has a problem with people staying there too long. So if those same people were to go to the embassy wherever they're from and say that they're stuck in Thailand, they would actually be able to get out and their embassy would help them go home. So do not fall for those people talking about, oh, I'm stuck and I can't get back home to my country. They can get back home. They just want to stay in Thailand and wild out. I wouldn't give beggars money anyway. Like I said in my Angeles City, Philippines video, giving beggars money could cause a bigger issue. Don't fall for the crap. Number two, don't film in a go-go bar. If they catch you over there filming or taking out your camera in one of those go-go bars, that is your ass. I was in there with some dude one time. I had just met him. He was cool as hell. We was we was bar hopping together. The lady that was in there, the manager, she came up to us. She was getting, we were drinking with her. Everything was cool. She was like, she was mad nice. This Thai lady, right? Everybody was showing us mad love. And all of a sudden, like my dude that I was with, he pulled out his phone and he simply just went like this. Yo, they stopped the music. They put the lights on. They did, yo, they put, they, all that shit. The lady that was nice to us was, she snapped out of the niceness. The DJ was, you know what I'm saying? Like everything just stopped and everybody was like, oh, and they was like, let me see your phone, let me see your phone. He was like, yo, I wasn't taking a picture. And he was like, yo, look, look, I wasn't. <laughs> Don't take, I'm telling you, cause yo, I've seen YouTube videos where people out there take pictures or whatever. Huh. But it turns out he took the picture, but he went to some other gallery or whatever the case is. And he was like, yo, I didn't take no picture. They was like, oh, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. okay. Lights came back off, music went back on. Girls started dancing again, you know what I mean? Ladies started being all whatever. But in that moment, it was crazy how fast they were. 100% shut that shit down. So don't even try it. Because if you get caught, they're going to beat your ass. Number one, don't try to be tough with them lady boys. Now, I understand if you're not down with that. I'm not down with that. I am 100% heterosexual. You know what I mean? I like females. I like vagina. You know what I mean? But at the same, real vagina. Vagina that you was born with. You know what I mean? No surgery vagina. So check it out. Thailand is well known for lady boys. There's a lot of them out there. And there's some common ways to tell if it's a lady boy. Big hands, big feet, taller than the average girl, acting way more feminine, way more touchy-feely, trying to grab your nuts. Adam's apple, don't, you can't even, nope. They don't got that near. They shave that off. They gonna stand still, you know what I mean? They gonna be standing there. They hardly move as much. They got a very higher pitched voice. Hello. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? And they usually lurk in the darkness to, to, to make the chances a little less that you know. But the thing is, if you have to question it, if you have to question it at all, don't even, don't even, and don't even try. There's thousands of girls out there you could talk to. So that's the situation with that. But when I say don't be tough with the lady boys, what I'm saying is if they try to grab your nuts, if they try to touch you, if they try to talk to you, say, just be like, nah, chill. You know what I'm saying? Just be like, ah, I'm good. And just keep walking. Thank you. I'm I'm a, I'm a sexy man. You know what I'm saying? Chocolate man, chocolate man. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Whatever. Thank you. Uh -huh. Whoa. If you, if you come there with the, oh, I hate gay people type stuff, and you try to fight them, whoa, boy. I've seen some freaking videos on YouTube where all that feminine shit go out the window. The more would jump your ass. Don't try to fight them. Just keep it regular and keep moving. And that goes for the Thai people, period. But a lot of people may get more, more rowdy if they encounter transgender person. So I'm just, I'm telling you straight up, just don't even mess with it, man. I seen this big Arabic dude one time. This dude was diesel, man. He was bigger than me. He was bigger than me. You know what I mean? He was out there with his boys. He was mad. He was tall. I'm six foot. He was taller than me. You know what I mean? Went out there, got his ass whooped, bottle, bottle to the back of the noggin, you know what I'm saying? With from the from the lady boys. And the local, I'm trying to tell you, don't don't try to fight him, boy. Those are my top five. But there's a couple of other little things. Let me just give you a couple of bonus ones, right? I wouldn't talk to a girl on Beach Road. For me, if you're into that type of lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? Where you're going around, you know what I mean? You're smashing chicks or whatever. You're not just into the party and you want to do party and you want to, you know what I mean? On Beach Road, there's a whole bunch of girls lined up on the street. There's a reason why these girls don't work in the bar. The bar usually has a lot of the times, most of, sometimes, I don't know, but there, it's said to be where the bars actually every Wednesday give them hygiene checks or whatever, try to catch any STD that might come around or whatever the case is to nip it in the bud, you know what I mean? And, and, and it's normally said, not 100% true, but it's normally said that any girl with some serious disease, she's not, she's incapable of working in the bar. So a lot of those girls on Beach Road, standing there, 
You don't know if they just doing that because they want to be independent and not split the profits with the bars, or you don't know if they just standing there because they can't work at the bars because they got some incurable shit. Just keep that in mind, man. So many options out there. You can meet a girl in the club. You can go, you can go back with her. Don't be surprised if she asks where the cash at. But anyway, you know what I mean? You know how it is. And this is besides all the common stuff you see about Thailand. Don't touch monks on the head. Don't eat with a fork. Don't use your feet. Don't talk about the king, you know what I mean? Don't freaking step on money. All that stuff is everybody, the tourist stuff. Everybody always hear that all the time. But I'm giving you Pattaya Thailand. You know? There you have it, baby. Hey, and for people hating on the video, what, what do you, what, 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 what? I remember I had somebody say, don't listen to this guy. He doesn't know what he's talking about. What am I saying that is bad advice for anybody in the freaking world? Don't listen to me, but go listen to somebody that's telling you not to listen to me when I'm telling you not to go to jail and not to do drugs in a place where you can get the death penalty. <laughs> this guy doesn't know what he's talking about. Oh, okay. All right. Listen to, the other, listen to the haters. Go listen to the haters if you want. Oh, yes. Yeah. And all those hating, disliking ass fools. I mean, how are we going to stop this guy? I, I, I just don't understand. You goddamn wanker. What do you know about Thailand, man? I know everything about Thailand. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Hey, Jasper, that black son of a bitch is back again. God damn it. What do, you, what do you know about freaking Thailand? I know everything you really know about Thailand, and I don't need to listen to your video. Whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Kiss my ass. Hat backwards and all that, baby, with the chain and the, and the, and the, and the Chinese t-shirt that don't know what it means. Guess who's back? Hey, watch it, boy. You know what I mean? Keep watching, baby. Ha <laughs> ha. Woo! Like, share, subscribe. Tell me what other videos you want me to make on what topic. I might do something on Columbia next because I just came back from there. That place was off the chizane, baby. Tell me what other ideas you got for me to make a video of and I'll make it. 4K quality, boy. Skunk shit. <laughs>